If you're watching this, you know that Chipotle is the greatest restaurant of all time. It's delicious, it's convenient, and it's macro-friendly. Or is it? Some of my more hardcore followers have asked me questions like, is the Chipotle macro calculator actually accurate? What if you get more rice or more chicken or more beans? It can't be right every time, can it? Let's go find out. All right, we have both our bowls. Here we have half brown rice, half white rice, half black beans, half pinto beans, half chicken, half steak, corn, guac, mild, and lettuce. And over here a little bit simpler, brown rice, black beans, steak, hot salsa, cheese. We're gonna weigh all this out and steak on the side. So we'll see steak in the burrito versus meat on the side where we get more. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're back. Took a few days to analyze the data, and here are the results. Uh, before we get into the results, first know that the data on the Chipotle Nutrition website is for cooked meat rather than raw meat. We know that because there are four ounces of chicken, four ounces of steak is the serving size, and we're seeing 32, 30 grams of protein, when in that amount of raw meat, it would actually be like 24 or 25 grams of protein. Just so you're aware, we are comparing the cooked meat in the bowl weight to cooked meat on the site. We don't have to do any crazy math, any weird calculus to get us there. All right, point number one, uh, Chipotle's screwing us when it comes to meat, which is the most important part of our bowl. It's the most expensive, it's the highest margin for them, lowest margin for them, it's the most expensive for them, um, it's the tastiest, it's the best, it's the gains. In bowl number one, we got lucky because we went half ch chicken, half steak, we went half and half with two meats. And when you go half and half, it's like automatic in the Chipotle employee's brain to give you like two thirds of a scoop on each of them. So you just end up with more total meat. On the bowl where we did not go half and half bowl number two, we ended up with one of our servings of meat, which was on the side. By the way, never order meat on the side if you're getting extra meat. 2.18 ounces of meat, which is almost half of what we should have gotten. Like 13 or 14 grams shy on protein, we're getting screwed. That sucks. 3.06 ounces in the serving of meat that went in the bowl. Um, so in the blog post, which I will link down below in the comments, in the description, we'll have all of the data if you really want to get nerdy and look at the actual versus what we should have gotten, but we're just going over the highlights here. So we're very short on protein there in bowl number two. Point number two, in that vein that we just talked about, always if you can order half and half, half chicken, half steak, half carnitas, half barbacoa. I know this not just because of this small sample size of two, but from getting Chipotle six out of seven days a week for the last several years of my life, you end up with more total meat when you get half and half. So when you have the opportunity, do it. Um, point number three, cheese. Cheese was another area where the actual versus what we expected was pretty vastly different. One ounce of cheese is a serving size. We ended up with 2.32 ounces of cheese, which is 10 grams of fat, um, which is quite a bit. 10 grams of fat is nothing to sneeze at, like missing by over 100% from what we expected is kind of a big deal. So cheese was way off. The last one is rice. Rice wasn't bad. What we have to understand is that on the Chipotle website, on the macro calculator, they are referring to dry rice, right? Four ounces of dry rice, and we were weighing the rice cooked. Rice ends up usually about three times as heavy when we cook it because of the water absorbed through the cooking process. So what our actual actual is, or what our actual expected is, is 12 ounces, okay? So if we see four ounces on the site, we expect it to be 12 ounces. We had 14 ounces in bowl number one where we got half brown rice, half white rice. We had 14 total ounces of rice, so actually very close, like within five or six grams of carbohydrates. Bowl number two, we only got six ounces of rice. 
which is about half of what we expected, ended up 20 grams short on carbs, which are cheap and easy to make up, I know that, but if you go in thinking that you're getting those carbs, you end up 20 grams short of carbs for the day. If you're losing fat, you wanted those carbs, you love carbs, you're deprived of carbs, or maybe you're not, maybe you have amazing genetics, but those are gains that you're never gonna get back. So that's, uh, that's something worth noting, worth paying attention to. Okay, quick recap, quick high level, a few things. Number one, if you are a bodybuilder, if you are two weeks out, if you are in contest mode, probably don't eat all of your meals at Chipotle, that would not make sense. Number two, as we discussed, half and half for meat, for rice, for anything is going to yield you more total volume than just ordering a single of something. Can I please have white rice versus can I have half brown rice, half, half right, white rice? Um, yeah, and for something like rice, you can get extra rice for free, so do it. But for meat, that's, that's actually huge. Never get your extra meat on the side. I have had times where I'm intermittent fasting where I'm trying to get 100, 120, 130 grams of protein in a single meal because I'm only having like a snack and a meal in a day, often on days where I travel and fast throughout the day. I have gotten quadruple meat at Chipotle and because it was more convenient, I got that meat on the side. Bad idea, Mike, bad idea, old Mike. Don't ever do that again. Get it all in the bowl. When you get it on the side, you end up with less meat in the little cup that they give you. And a couple last points to finish up here. On something that you're very worried about, maybe something that's calorically dense, maybe something that's high in fat, like sour cream or cheese, just say a little bit. Just drop that little adjective in there and you can err on the side of missing a little bit underneath rather than going over 10 or 12 grams of fat. And lastly, like, oh, you didn't get enough meat. You're short on carbs. Your fat was over here. Never eat at Chipotle. No, that's not the thesis of the video. The, like, you're never going to be perfect, especially at restaurants, you're never gonna be perfect. There's so much butter and oil and cream that goes into things that you don't know about. Um, even at home, even in your own kitchen, even if you're weighing everything, you're gonna miss high and low. That's not the point. We're not trying to be perfect. What we are trying to do is be consistent, be pretty close, day in, day out, be patient, work hard. In the long run, it's, like, it's all gonna work out. There is no perfection. You can't be perfect, I'm not perfect. Just doesn't happen. All right, like I said, if you want those details, check out the blog post link down below. There's some nice pretty graphics in there that lay out everything, how much the bowl's missed by, where all the macros are, for all you math nerds like me. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this was helpful. Um, if you're watching on the YouTubes, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Facebook, say what's up. All right, bye guys.